So I made this basketball hoop and it's super cool. Check it out. So it turns out great. Not only does it sync shots, it knows all about your shot. It knows where it came from. So you could potentially do some cool training things like know if you're shooting consistently. Thanks to facial recognition, it also knows who is shooting. This makes it really easy to just completely wreck my so the, the basic gist is that the backboard is tracking everything that's going on in the room. It figures out if a ball is coming at it and what trajectory it's on. And then it uses that information to figure out how it needs to move the backboard so that it'll direct the ball into the hoop. So it works pretty darn well. So getting this whole system working was not easy. And the reason for that is just like all of us, its biggest enemy is time itself. There's only about 600 milliseconds from when I throw the ball to when it strikes the backboard. And in that time, I have to figure out where's the ball, what trajectory is it following, and then I have to move the backboard to whatever position I need to so that it'll direct the ball in. L let, me, let me show you 600 milliseconds. That was 600 milliseconds. Let me do it again. Not very long to do all that in. Doing those two things in that period of time is what drove basically all of the software and mechanical design of this project. All right, let's dive in and I'll show you how I did it. So what in the world is going on with all this mechanical design? I can move it in and out, I can tilt it left and right, and I can nod it up and down. So the one other piece of electronics that I'm using is a Kinect. It's a thing made by Microsoft for the Xbox. And what it does is it gives you a video feed, and then for all of the pixels in the video feed, it tells you how far they are from the camera. And I'm using that to do the ball trajectory tracking and planning for knowing where things are gonna hit and all of that. 